was born, Gilegan, Mandi Hijagati. This event is used to uh, to uh, create awareness on this topic. You know, um, this this can be a sensitive topic to some. And uh, T. Daddy Violets, it's it's uh, kind of an epidemic. It's kind of one of those things that you don't really hear about. Um, and all types of violence, you know, we don't want to acknowledge it, but at the same time, it does happen. Um, right now, at this moment, as, I, as I'm speaking to you, somebody is being abused right now. And it's hard to think about that and hard to realize that that somebody is living in fear of being abused. And it's sad, but that's how it is. That's not how it's supposed to be, but that's how it is. And one of the things that we can do as Muscogee people is to, to help, help one another. You know, if you know somebody that's living in this, in that fear, in those violent relationships, help them out. Ask, how can I help? Or come to our fa uh, Family Violence Prevention Program. They'll help you out. They're there to help. And uh, you know, this subject is sensitive to some. Somebody may know a victim. Some of y'all may even be victims. But what that's telling me is that y'all are strong. Y'all have strength to come out here you're strong because you're still here. You're still with us. That's something to be proud of. You know, if you are a victim, you're still with us. You know, and that's, that's something to be proud of, you know. You know, those conditions are, you know, they're harsh. They're a living hell. But you survived. So at this time, I'm just going to give them applause. It is so peaceful out here. I was telling Chimona, I said, it's like being at church. March 2016, Oak Bogey to Oklahoma City, creating awareness on teen dating violence.
My name is Sheena Logan. I'm with the I'm a co-advisor for the Adema Mogazin Unity Council, and I've got one of our counselors, Justin Logan, here, and then my other co-advisor, Michael Logan. So we are just in between Payton and Prague. We are about to actually reach the end of the Muscogee Creek Nation jurisdiction and enter into the Sac and Fox Nation. So um, about three, three miles, miles so far. And just over barely a, a one hour. So Monday we started at the Omagi, uh Creek Nation capital and we are walking to the Oklahoma City uh, state capital. But our destination today is Prague, Oklahoma. Prague, Oklahoma. So we will host a rally in the uh, state capital for teen dating uh, violence. We'll actually have a speaker from the Cherokee Nation um, who's experienced teen dating violence. Um, and then we'll also be commemorating the 40th anniversary of Unity, which is the United National Indian Tribal Youth. It started in Oklahoma City again 40 years ago, and it's coming back home this week for the National Conference. Adema Mogensen says Mado. what it means to me and my people I'm around, this may take a little while longer.
It's amazing that the Youth Council has received this award. Very, I know you just so sweet to see you all because I want to thank everybody who's here. It's good to see y'all. But more importantly, I want to like to thank uh, Nancy Mason for doing all she's done. And if it wasn't for all of our members, we wouldn't be what we are today. So give it a to all the members of the city. Yeah. This is Javon Gouge with the Muscogee Creek Nation Public Relations Office. I have here with me Mr. Tyler Hill, and he is the Sergeant of Arms of the Muscogee Creek Youth Council. So, what's going on? What just happened here? We got the award of Muscogee Youth Council of the Year. All right, they have the they won the actual the unit uh, the Unity Youth Council of the Year 2016 here in Old. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and uh, it, it was. It's been a great night, and uh, the, here's the, uh, the the award here, and everybody's here. So, how does this make you feel? It feels exciting. Actually, the first year coming to Unity as a group of youth council, and actually winning as a as a unit. I guess. I'm extremely excited, and I'm at a loss of words because this is such an honor to receive this award, and uh, it's also amazing that we represent the tribe in this way. So we're very excited. Excellent. So here, I y'all do y'all are doing some great things. You from fruition of the beginning of the youth council in Mogi there at the mound. Y'all have y'all's meetings there. So so how did y'all get to this place? I mean I mean from day one as far as when when did y'all start? Th Friday was it Friday? Third Monday. Monday. Yeah, we started Monday. So how we got here was actually uh, one of the events we did, the Muskogee March. So we actually walked to the conference, um, and nobody else has ever done this. So I think that's uh, um, a factor that went into this award as well, because nobody's ever done this. So making history. All right. So you, hear, you heard it here with Mr. J. Scott Fife, and he's one of the beginning founding members. And one thing I just want to say about, you know, getting Youth Council of the Year, what we do in our community for our own tribe is, like, amazing, and we know that we're impacting lives in our community, but being recognized at this level means that we're touching lives all over the country, so it's a, it's a great accomplishment for our whole Youth Council. All right, this is Javon Gouge again here with the Muscogee Creek Nation Public Relations, and I have Miss Nancy Mason. And you are? The director of the Muscogee Nation Youth Services Program. So what is going on through your mind right now? I'm just so proud of our kids. They are amazing. They have, um, oh, they have um, done great work all year long. Since we've created them, they have been in charge of their youth council and their program, and they have ideas, and they inspire me every day. Awesome. So uh, how long? How long did it take us to get here as, as what your department does? Um, you know, about a year and a half. We started uh, about March of last year of 2015, planning our youth council, bringing young people together. And um, in just that short time, they, you know, did service learning projects. They developed their youth council, their bylaws, elected officers, and they haven't stopped since that time. Wow. Wow. It's so great and an honor to be here just to witness of what's going on. We kind of had a little heads up, but it was great just to be a part of history. History because you know that with the uh, Muskogee March that took place tell us just a little bit about what what happened there okay so well one of our youth council members um, got inspired from the longest walk five and had an idea for us to walk um, from Okmulgee to the state capitol um, prior to unity um, for teen dating violence awareness but also to commemorate the 40th year of the unity conference yeah awesome so but I'll tell you what it's, it's again it's an honor on behalf of the Muskogee Creek Nation of as as a whole, over 80,000 members, we appreciate everything that you're doing in your position and, and, and investing in so many young lives that got them to this place today. So we appreciate it. Ms. Nancy Mason, thank you so much for being a part of us, and thank you. Thank you.